Hello and welcome to this week's ASAI new release roundup. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather this week, so you'd be forgiven for thinking that these flowers were a get well soon gift for my colleague Dom. They are not, they are in fact a prop, um, because this week um, we have the new album from gladioli loving Morrissey. Right about now my wife will be realising that I stole the flowers from the living room on the way out the door. Sorry love. Right, I'll have a little twirl of these later. Low in high school, we've got it on limited clear vinyl and high street only green vinyl. We're also selling it on a very reasonably priced cassette tape, which you see next to my lemon flavoured paracetamol drink. It's his most significant album since You're the Quarry, significant because of the times that we live in. I wish that Morrissey would just let his music do the talking, because when he does, there's no greater narrator of the modern ills of this world. Speaking about ill, I'm still ill. Spend the day in bed. <coughs> Wish I could spend the day in bed. One of the weirdest best of compilations of all time, Pink Floyd's A Collection of Great Dance Songs. Really strange release. Green Day, their second greatest hits, God favourite band. World's best selling punk band, True Survivors. Bitchin' Badgers! There are very few bands out there that like to squeeze every penny out of their fans more than Queen. Here's a box set celebrating one of their best albums from the 70s, News of the World, featuring my favourite Queen deep cut, My Melancholy Blues. Soundtrack to The Walking Dead, I feel like The Walking Dead. In excess, Kick, our fearless leader Keith Ingram and Pair of My Wages adores this album, so I won't be saying anything bad about it. Iron Maiden, another live album. One of the great debuts of the 90s, Elastica's self-titled album is getting a re-release. It was the biggest selling debut album of all time uh, until Definitely Maybe came along. It comes with a fanzine and a flexi disc. There's no fat in this album. Tame Impala, still flogging currents with this box set. Um, which is full of goodies. Zappa! Just a little word about Annie Booth, who will be playing in store tonight, Friday, Grindley Street, 5.30. Um, this is her debut album, Unforgiving Light. It's really good. We have it for 14 99 You can also see here, we've started doing Asai Recommends stickers. You'll see them dotted around the shop. This one says, um, Last night from Glasgow, Annie Booth flits between soaring wall of sound to lilting, and reservedness. Asai in-store wall of fame inductee. 